Good morning and welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Can I have a murker? Welcome back. Yes, it does sound like one of them exotic coffees you can get in one of these coffee shops, Merker. But uh, it's not quite so. I was in the, not so long ago, wanting to do some nice, really nice, fine sanding. Um, so with that, I was looking around all the different websites and looking at all the different reviews at different uh, sanders. I mean, this one wanted a decent, random, all bit sander. So, and in in the processes, I've came across this. This is the Merker Deros sander. Now, it's a beautiful, beautiful sander to use. I was a bit skeptical about getting it because of the price. It is very, very expensive. Uh, we're talking festal money. For, for this sander. Now, I'll get it out here. It comes in this, uh, I, I, assume, I assume they call it a sustainer box. Um, a lot of the manufacturers seem to be doing this sort of thing now of making their own boxes for these sort of tools. But this has got the, look, looks like the Festool sustainer. I, I thought when I first saw it, that it was um, Festool's but you know, is owned by Festool or something like that. It may be, but I've done some research and I can't find anything. It comes in a lovely case like this, um, and it's, it's beautifully presented. Um, I know that that's not going to make any difference to you sanding a bit of wood or whatever, but it is beautiful. Now, this here is the actual sander itself, and if you to look at it, you would think to yourself, well, that's not powerful enough. But believe you me, it is. Um, it's, you know, it, I can't say enough, I can't say highly, or speak highly enough about this machine. Um, it comes with a lever on the top, so that you can, can switch it on or off. And it, it the, in, the mo most you press that and everything else, uh, the more the faster it will go if you've got the variable speed function actually engaged. Um, I usually do because it, it's a lot easier for me if I want to do some slow work where I don't burn the wood or whatever. It's really, really good. The weight of this is, well, it's it's night and day to compared to my old sander. My old sanders are really, really clumbersome things um, and I've, I have got you can see pictures of it through from my Sanders uh, video and I'll post a link a video for, for that. Now I was a bit like I say I was a bit skeptical because of the price and everything else of this. Um, Merker on their website and a lot of the other websites that they advertise this um, advertise it as dust free sanding. Now anyone that hears that they think oh that's not possible how can you sand a piece of paper uh, a piece of wood um down and not have any dust i was very very skeptical and i've got to say that their claims are true believe you me their claims are true it's not 100 percent because there's always a little bit of dust that goes off to, to the side and it doesn't pick it up it's not 100 but I would say that it's 99% of all the dust that is generated by this tool is taken away. Now, further ado, it comes with uh, on when you first get it out of the out of the box, it comes with this 150 mil um, pad on the bottom of it. It is very very flat when you're using it, so you can know that it's quality made. I've had sanders before 
that what you can actually get hold of them and you can rock the sander it's not a good thing and it comes with all the it only comes well three three switches on the top plus and minus and it comes with the on off switch so if you want to go and change your pads and everything else the first thing that people do is go and put them down on their back to go and change the pad with this lever mechanism that's the only downfall i found this lever mechanism on the back here if you put it down it's going to start the machine so always switch it off and now through time of me using this i've actually got to the, um you know, i've actually trained myself if you want to if you want to put it that way to actually switch the machine off first before i go and change a pad that's the only thing whereas usually you have a hot you have a switch that's sort of underneath there on your on the trigger finger and you, you just turn it over and change the pad it comes with a five mil and i don't know whether you can actually see that on the camera but it has a 5.0 on there it comes with a five mil orbit action on here i've i have never used a five mil orbit action most i've ever used is probably a 2.5 or a 3 point or a 3.0 uh you know millimeter of orbit i've never used a five so i was a bit skeptical about how much of a scratch pattern or whatever it was that was going to leave into my uh work surface but believe you me it's brilliant it is brilliant as you can see it doesn't have a cord connected in their wisdom infinite wisdom they decided that we're to we're cut the cord we'll take it out good idea now festal do exactly the same thing don't they 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 have a, a connected in system that you can use and and, and uh and they, they connect up to all of their tools so you only have one lead unfortunately i don't have that system in my workshop so i you know but this comes with this great long lead here i put this uh put this holder on there but it comes it looks like a kettle cable we the old the old style kettle cable to be honest with you but it comes with this lead and it's very very long which is good for the amount of money that i'm paying for this i would expect to have a decent long lead but that connects into the end of there and you can use your your, your sander now it also comes with the smaller base this is the 150 mil base that's on here now it actually has the 125 mil backing pad which is what it was a four inch or something like that five inch no, five inch um, so you can actually use it for smaller um, delicate work as well as having the great big pad on here as well so it's very 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 good uh, it comes with so just some pads to get you going there's two sides there well, that was empty sorry but uh, it comes with 150 mil pads it was in there and uh, it comes with some 125 mil pads now these pads are the um, they, they call them Arbonet uh, which is basically a, it is a net with with a sanding sort of surface on them and uh, I was a bit skeptical about these to be honest with you how good they was and how good they was going to suck any dust or anything like that and i tell you now they last forever i really do whether that is because all the dust is being taken away uh in, in sucked through them and it is you, you haven't got it clogging up your pads and then all this sort of thing but these last forever uh, but when they do wear out they are a little bit expensive but there are cheaper options out there if you look for them you don't have to go and get the actual Merco ones there are cheaper options of these so but saying that it does take um, on here it does actually take your standard pads that you would have onto a normal sander you can put your normal sanding pad on there no problem whatsoever it is that good um, the features that it has for other what well, other features as well 
Um, you can download it off of Merker's website, and it, you, you can also get it, um, as far as I know, off of your um, wherever you get your apps for your phone, whatever phone you're actually using, whether you're whatever you know train of thought. Um, you can download the Merker app now on their Merker app. I have a really I don't have it all queued up at the moment to show you so but there is uh, a thing on their website that you can actually go through and actually shows you screenshots and everything else I'll post a link to their website down below for you but it's a very very good app I don't use it as a as a rule to be honest with you I've only ever tried it out once and I thought myself well I'm not going to make much use of it but it is handy to have if you really are into the intricate things. Um, it tells you what the vibration, you, well, connect it up Bluetooth, and it tells you the vibration of this machine because it is connected directly to your phone. And it also tells you the speed of this machine as well. Very, very good, very good. Now, the other thing that I've also noticed about this, apart from the weight is that it's some I don't know how they've done it but there's some clever a little clever very very clever electronics in this machine very clever and this is not an AC motor that comes us directly off of your uh, out, outlet in the wall whatever wherever you are whether you're on American 110 or whether you're on uh, us British over here 240 um, it connects into the obviously connects into your wall outlet and it connects into there but the actual motor itself is DC direct current now it goes through some clever electronics in here and uh, it, it go takes it changes it over to DC which is used on the DC motor one thing about that I found is that it makes the tool so much more quieter now they they claim that this is the quietest sander out there as well as being the, the, you know dust free they claim it's to be the dust um, you know it is the quietest one i again all these claims i was a bit skeptical about and i thought to myself oh here we go you know as you do but they all are true they're they're not you know and it, what can I say about this? It is very, very, very good. It comes with, anyway, it comes with some more bits and pieces. It comes with a spanner, very, very thin spanner. It allows you to get in here and change the change the pad as well. So all these skepticisms, I was a bit worried about. Now, anyone that wants to be in the business of buying one of these, it is very expensive like i said before it's festal money you know this was depending on where you buy it from it's three to four hundred pounds so if anyone wants one of these they're going to have to shell out a bit of money for it so anyway i'll set it all up and uh and i'll show you the um some uh test and everything else and we'll go from there right here I am and I connected up the cable to the unit itself and I switched it on because I've got the green light switched on there now and I've set up a decibel meter on my phone I, so you can take out what you want from that I will come round and you can actually see the decibels that this thing actually puts out they claim is between 60 and 80 decibels um, with no load so I'll come round and you can actually see it on the on the screen All right there we go there's there's my phone and as you can see as I'm talking we're talking you know it's about five you know it'll go it fluctuates a little bit good the most you get is 40. so here we go right next to the actual um phone itself now i don't know how accurate this actually is 
um, with on, on my phone or anything like that. It, you're only relying on the microphone of the phone, really. So it's, I, I would like to say how accurate it is. But here we go. I'll shut up and uh, we'll, we'll give it give it a go. So there we are. It, it was it was fluctuating between 72 and 74 decibels. In that, like I said before, I don't know how accurate it is on this phone. So you know we we, we wouldn't know, but now you can test, test, you know, see how uh, quiet this actual machine is compared to a lot of others. Now the one thing I didn't actually. Um, go on to and I'll take that out of there now um, is the fact that it look for the dust extraction now it does come with its own dust extraction hose for you um, I have it over here there we go just give me a second it comes with this they it comes in their own separate box to be honest with you it comes with a quite a comprehensively uh, long hose here and the hose itself let me excuse me the hose itself actually connects into this port at the back here and you just just wind it on and it's fully connected permanently on your onto your machine until you want to disconnect it obviously and it will stay on the machine and it won't come off and it goes straight into whatever vacuum you have in your in your shop at the time I can't connect it up to my shop vac I don't currently have it connected into the uh, DeWalt uh, airlock system because I haven't set it up for that because the pipe that they actually or the hose that they've actually sent me um, connect, connects directly straight into my shop vac so I don't need to do any of that I just undo the undo it straight off but off my foot off my shop vac the old hose off my shop vac and connect that one straight in it works perfect absolutely brilliant so and it does actually do what it says on the box now i'm not going to give you a test on a piece of wood because there's no way that you know you can put your hand across your screen and everything else and put your hand on the wood that i'm going to sand you know to test whether it's actually a good sander or not there are lots of other um, reviews out there of this machine that do that test and everything else so if you want to go and watch one of those that are doing that test then please be my guest but I'm not going to do that test today to show you me sanding a piece of wood because that's just not what it's all about the sander is very very light you can use it all day long when you're sort of up here like this sanding upwards and I found that if I had one of my other sanders that I would never be able to keep my hands up like that but this thing I could do I could use it vertically like that all day long if I wanted to but it's that that light in your hands and what else can I say about it there's lots of little bits and pieces that it came with there's also a uh, on here there's a pad extra pad what they call a it is velcro on both sides of the pad so it actually is a pad saver so you don't not actually using the um, velcro that's actually attached to this pad um, I think you'll find it's actually in the yeah, there's, there's a black thing that's in there on the smaller pads as well you connect it to the to the pad there and then you put your put your paper your, your paper or you put your pads and everything else your sanding pads onto that and it's what they call a pad saver because after after a, they, they say after a time oh you just just about see it there look after a time they they actually say that these pads do wear out the velcro on them and everything else so you just you just replace the velcro pad onto the onto your onto there and off you go but like I said if you want to buy one of these they are expensive now I, I looked at different different reviews on different websites of, of very um, you know I've looked at DeWalt, Makita uh, I've even looked at Milwaukee and all those other different ones and 
it all came back to this at the end of the day it was a lot more money than i wanted to go and spend like i'm not you know i'm just like i say it's festal money you know and buffs in in some cases but i bought this as a kit and the kit came and i will just bear with me a second <coughs> It actually came with a lot of a choice of sanding pads as well. I got an array of these, oh excuse me, an array of these as well that came along with it as well, you know, with the machine. So I was very, very pleased at that, that it, all the Arbonette papers and everything else. But saying that, they do last a long time. You know, the, 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 I've 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 used one in there now, and I done, I was doing my um, my chest of drawers for my bedroom, and I done all the chest of drawers. I sanded the whole lot with one piece of one 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 of these pads, where whereas I probably would have gone through two or three of the old paper pads, you know, and that's what I can say. It, it's so so good, but I will leave it there, and I'll give you food for thought about about the Merca. It does seem like a, a variety of coffee, but uh, believe you me, it's they are. This is the Rolls Royce of, of of sanding pads or sanding machines. Believe you me, it is. It really is. Um, so I'll leave it there. But you know where all my if you want to contact with me on the usual sort of websites and everything else and. Um, and leave some comments down below and uh, there is a website or well, email address anyway and uh, I will see you next time and uh, like and subscribe so bye bye